Welcome to another episode of Craft Chocolate TV. I am Dylan Butterbaugh. I'm gonna host today's episode on hand tempering. And so we've got some of our tools here. We've got a laser gun, which tells us the temperature. We've got two types of spatulas, which are gonna help us um, really do all the, the spreading around of the chocolate. We've got a mixer, we've got a mold, we've got a, a scale and a rag, and that's just to clean up. So this is all you really need to do some hand tempering. And we've got our granite countertop here, which is pretty cold right now. And so, yeah, here we go. Mateo, why don't you come on in and grab what you need and we're gonna start hand tempering. Hand tempering is really good because you get to see how the chocolate behaves. It, you see the viscosity change, it gets thicker. And what's happening is all these crystals that are scattered all over the place start coming really close together as you cool the, the chocolate off. And so they start to line up into a grid. All we're working with in hand tempering is cocoa butter. So there's six crystals in cocoa butter. We want to line all of them up as they become the same shape into one crystal into a grid. And so what Mateo is going to do now is he's going to dump the chocolate right on the mar or in the granite counter. And because the chocolate is around 45 to 50 degrees Celsius, as we start to spread it around on the on this counter, the temperature is going to drop really quickly. And so as it gets closer towards say 28 degrees Celsius, you're going to see how much thicker it starts to get. We're gonna then warm it back up with a little bit of the leftover chocolate, and then we're gonna dump it into the mold. So I'm gonna grab the thermometer here. Dang, that dropped fast. You're pretty much there already. Yeah. In order to really know how a chocolate is, it helps when it's tempered. You can taste things more, um, it, it gives you a, a full idea of what you're going to potentially buy. So now, we're gonna mix it all up so it's even, and then we're gonna dump them into the mold. And Mateo's doing this because he's much better at it than uh, the rest of us. Lots of experience. Okay, so this is time sensitive. We're at 30 degrees, so he nailed it. He's now gonna pour 50 grams into each one because that's the size of our bar. So we teared the scale, we put the mold on the scale, teared it out, and so now we can see exactly how much we're adding. This is a really good way to learn how to, to start working with chocolate. We now have machines that help us, but this is still uh, the best way to start. Beautiful. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, That's how it works. So we're gonna throw this in the fridge, and in about 20 minutes, it should come out really nice. You can even watch it separating from the bottom of the mold. It's contracting away from the corners at first, and separates all the way from the middle. And if we did everything correctly, it should be fine. We should have chocolate bars. Okay, so now we're gonna pop it out. It should come out really nicely because everything is contracted away from the mold. There we go. Beautiful tempered chocolate bars by hand. That's how you do it. Thank you, Mateo. <laughs>